The state of matter or phase of a substance does not depend entirely on its temperature. Pressure also plays a role. This is a phase diagram for water. A phase diagram is a graph that gives the conditions of temperature and pressure at which a substance exists as a solid, liquid, and a gas, also known as a vapor. At standard pressure of 101.3 kilopascals, we can see the melting point of water at 0 degrees and the boiling point of water at 100 degrees Celsius. But at lower pressure, the melting point will be higher and the boiling point will be lower. There's also a place called the triple point, where all three phases exist in equilibrium. Here the particles may become solid, liquid, or gas and change back and forth in constant amounts. There's also an area where sublimation can occur. The pressure and temperature would need to be very low. But there are some substances that can do sublimation at room temperature and standard pressure, like dry ice, which is carbon dioxide, or mothballs. But water can sublimate at standard pressure if it's left in a very cold temperature for a very long time. If you've ever left ice cubes in the freezer for a long time, you'll notice that they have started to shrink when you check on them again. That's because they are actually sublimating at that cold temperature. These phase diagrams can help you find the conditions needed for a phase change of many different substances. You just have to look them up. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.